Hey everybody, we're still making progress on the solar heated garage. So I'm in the garage right now and uh, it's getting cold in here and so I want to heat this garage using solar thermal or hot water from the sun. One of the items that you need is a controller. Now I picked up this big contraption, uh, it was given to me. Uh, there's usually an expansion tank here, there's a couple of pumps, a heat exchanger. Uh, these were nice units back in the early 80s, I, I think, is when this one was built. Uh, and there's a control board here. But this thing had dirt in it, it had leaves, I wasn't even sure if it was going to work at all. I just tested it and it does work. But I needed to pick up a pack of uh, thermal resistors. These are 10K ohm resistors for this model uh, control board. All right, here's the control board, and it's plugged in with this yellow extension cord uh, to 110 volt, and it's currently in the auto mode. And there's two leads, and they're clearly marked on the board saying solar and tank. So this guy here goes to the solar panel, and I'm gonna heat it up in my hand, and this guy is reading the tank temperature. So when the, there it goes. So just kicked on, you can see the LED, might be able to hear the pumps running and now I'm going to swap it and I'm going to say okay now the tank has reached the temperature of the solar panel and we'll wait for this thing to turn off. There it goes, it just turned off. So that's how these work. Uh, when there's a difference in temperature and the solar is hotter it will turn the pumps on. Okay, I got the controller mounted up on the wall and everything's really temporary. I just want to see if it works. So I wired in the extension cord that came with the unit. It'll just plug in for now. Uh, and then I got the two uh, thermal resistors uh, coming off from it. And so one of them I zip tied onto this piece of copper here. It's, it's one of the manifolds coming up from the radiant floor. And I use a stainless steel zip tie and then I'll insulate around that. But I'm not sure, I might, uh, I want to get the temperature of the floor, I think. So I could drill a small hole in the floor and silicone that down into it. Uh, or I might take off the cover from the 40 gallon tank and uh, put it behind that cover uh, in there. I'm, I'm not sure what the best setup is. If any of you know, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, and then I got the other one and this guy has to read the tank temperature, uh, excuse me, this one has to read the solar temperature of the panel. You can see we're getting plenty of shade from the neighbor's trees across the railroad tracks. Nothing I can do about those. Uh, the sun is shining through those trees. It's 12 noon, but we're still picking up heat. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm going to switch it from off to auto. And it did. Awesome. So. Uh, both pumps kicked on. I have one pump down there out of frame, which is the one pumping the water up through the solar collector. It then is going to trickle down through this heat exchanger. This second pump circulates the water through the radiant floor. And you can hear it flowing down through the heat exchanger. So we have a difference in temperature, and that means we should be picking up some heat from the sun. Awesome. 